staying here in front of my hostel. It's the monkey nap. You see the little monkey and the sunshine. And I'm just off to work, so I will show you my work way. Let's go. walking about 15-20 minutes and I'm quite tired oh it's so hot it's 27 or 8 30 degrees the bike in my hostel is for free actually they say I shouldn't take it so long but I just do it <laughs> yeah and that's very good because then I only need only need 15 minutes better than half an hour walk so this is the final street where I'm working in Thailand I'm doing an internship at the Hans Idol Foundation this is the first house where I work and this is the second house where my boss and the secretary and the program coordinator are sitting. Hans Eiler Foundation, we arrived! And I'm starting around 9, 9.30 and then 8 hours with a little break for lunch. So here, here I am in my office. It looks a bit more like a family house, doesn't it? <laughs> this is my desk and these are all documents for our development work which the company is doing we even have a kitchen and a fridge and here it's going up to my colleagues really really nice team here I'm working together with four other um, Thai they speak perfectly um, German and it's a very nice atmosphere so quite professional so that's really fun and the difference to the volunteering I did before and my boss is from Germany and he's also very nice and yeah giving me a lot of advices and it's really easy to communicate at the moment, I'm just writing the annual report for the work of Thailand and Laos. It's quite a big task in my opinion, because I have actually no idea what um, the project is all about, like all the little details, what happened in 2016, and yeah, I know I have to read a lot and write a lot, and every report is about um, seven pages, so I'm updating the last report and see what differences were and compare. And the first or the second weekend I've already been on the business trip with one of my colleagues to Chiang Mai. That was amazing. Um, we were in very nice hotels and I met the partner Bangkok Legal Clinic and they are doing um, legal advice for stateless people. So people who don't have an citizenship. So there are like 12 million people like this in the world and they don't have a citizenship. Can you believe it? I couldn't in the first time but then 
I went with them on the seminar and it was very impressive. Also, it was all in Thai, but I still learned a lot. Like, we went to different families and different ages, like one, two old ladies, which were from one minority in the mountain areas of Thailand and next to the border to Myanmar. So there were some minorities between Myanmar and Thailand called Shan. So it's very interesting because they still were in the time of the war. So they just don't have a citizenship or they lost it because of some political reasons. And a lot of um, participants don't have it because there's no real birth um, registration in the provinces, like yeah, in, the uh, in the hospitals. Some don't even go to hospital. So that was very interesting point and yeah now it's a bit more office work back in Bangkok these two months are very good experience and I can settle down and yeah have a bit more like an everyday life not always backpacking and traveling so that's very nice <laughs> another day another outfit and um, because I wanted to show you um, the bright field of what I'm doing because now it's one week later and I got the um, task to review an European application for a grant so you have a possible grant for us to give money to Thailand to support civil society organizations and I'm just controlling it that fits to us and I am in yeah cooperation with a partner uh, we have in this field so we're gonna find out if the budget and the time is fitting to the requirements of the application so that's a little bit hard work because it's all in English and <laughs> but it's challenging and so it's fun and yeah my team my one project coordinator is helping me so I'm still feeling well in this internship, also after um, eight weeks now, or no, seven weeks. Another thing I can see um, in this internship is that, how you see, I'm wearing black because the king died last October, so it's still like, you can still see it. All my colleagues are mostly wearing black, and it's now half a year later. I thought maybe it's one month, but um, they're really doing this for one year. And even my colleague, she was wearing a colorful dress in the office, but then when she got, went out, she covered her with another black like um, t-shirt. So it's really bad for them and they're really sad, I think. And all everywhere are is the king um, in the streets. Yeah, after my internship, I'm going traveling in the south of Thailand, so follow me there. See you next time. Bye.